hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for watching my video if you're a returning subscriber welcome back and if you're new please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and like share comment all those good things watch all of my videos there's a whole lot of content here beauty makeup fashion vlogs do the most so today i'm going to do um a video about how i cleared my skin from this to this <laughs> i'm gonna put up the picture and then you guys can see sorry guys i'm trying so hard to not look at the screen of the camera and into the camera which is something i do so much so it feels weird actually because i'm so used to looking at myself but i should be looking in the camera anyway um yeah so i'm gonna show you guys how i cleared my skin um a few weeks ago is it a few weeks or a few months a few weeks ago like June-ish, late May to June, July, no, June to July, yeah, when it started getting really hot in China, summer, my skin had like a bit of a moment that was just, yeah, not a vibe, so yeah, and also, you're gonna have to ignore everything behind me, okay, ignore the AC, ignore my couch, I'm standing in front of um, the mirror, like, my bathroom is actually in here but like the sink and where i do my skin and everything where i wash my hands is right here so that's why i put the camera here but anyway um yeah my skin was reacting really badly to the humidity which was really weird because like i've been here for three years and i'd never experienced something like that but i think one of the reasons why my skin was breaking out is because I just like was neglecting my skincare routine like I didn't really care and I, I've never been someone to have a problem with my skin like breakouts and all those things so yeah I just stopped caring I honestly just stopped caring I put on makeup um, remove it I always remove it but I wouldn't really cleanse my skin properly so my pores got clogged because I sweat a lot, you know, when I walk to work, at work, I'm just constantly sweating because of how hot it is. And I think my pores got clogged and I started to have a breakout, which was really bad. Like, I've never had that type of a breakout on my face, like, ever. And I'm almost 30, like, it's never happened. So I had, like, pimples all over and they were, like, white. <laughs> guys it was a disaster like i was i couldn't even look at myself in the mirror i felt really crappy like my self-esteem yeah things were not cute for that like i'd say three to four weeks you know when it started i was like okay maybe my periods are coming you know it was like one two but my periods came and passed and they just started like being all over my face so yeah I'm gonna show you guys how I cleared my skin. I didn't go to a dermatologist. I didn't get like professional help. All of this I just figured out by Googling a whole lot of stuff, watching a whole lot of videos. And initially I really considered so many things that could cause that breakout. Like I said, I thought it was my parents. I thought it was the weather, but I wasn't really like sold on it. Cause I mean, I've been here like for three years. So I was just like, what's different this year, you know? I thought it was like sugar, milk, um, there was a time where I used to take probiotics, I'd take collagen, I stopped, I did, so I thought, you know, I thought there was like a lot of imbalance going on, so until I was like, okay, you know what, I really think my pores are clogged, like, and that's the final conclusion that I have diagnosed myself with. I think that's actually what led to that breakup. So what I did, I was like okay i'm gonna get some stuff and i'm gonna focus and stick to this routine and hopefully my skin will be cleared i'm feeling hot i had to switch off the ac because it was gonna make a lot of noise so let me show you guys what i usually do at night i'm gonna try to keep it simple there's other things that i do but i'll get straight to the point so i've already washed my face and i washed it with this um la roche posse i'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it but yeah it's um 
gel wash for persistent imperfections i used to use this other vici one i'm i'm actually trying it out um i feel like it doesn't well it does matter what type of face wash you use it should be um it shouldn't have what do they call it it should be non comma non comma something non comogenic <laughs> i'll put the right um word on the screen because some of these things i'm gonna forget but yeah i was using this um to cleanse my skin and then so i already washed my face in the shower so i'm just going to continue the next steps and try and say as much as i can and hopefully this can help someone i don't know but i'm really proud of like my skin is not perfect obviously but yo where it was guys like that was that was a mess so i feel like what i've been doing has helped me to also avoid like breakouts like i've been on my period and there, there was literally nothing maybe one or two so yeah and then i tone with after washing it and it's dry i tone with this toner from the ordinary it has glycolic acid i've been using this for a while but when i had neglected my skin i was just using it here and there so i've had it for a really long time so i just toned my skin with it and glycolic acid is really good for cleansing your skin and making sure that your skin like is even so that's why i'm using this toner i feel like you should use a toner after you wash your face because not everything goes away so yeah can you see focus yeah <laughs> a mess and then i'll wait like a few seconds literally like maybe five or ten five four three two one <laughs> and then i go in with my paula's choice liquid exfoliant two percent bha and this helps with unclogging enlarged pores um, and shrinking them it smooths an even skin tone lightweight liquid absorbs quickly i feel like honestly this was the game changer like this is really what saved my skin like i feel like there was a lot of dirt build up and it was causing it to break out so once i started using this my skin was getting clearer and clean and it could breathe again and no more breakouts so after like maybe four days i started to notice a difference like every day i'd wake up and there'd be a new pimple and they were white every day i'd wake up and they would be new and they were just getting more and more and more and i was like ah! like it was bad so i use that so a liquid exfoliator is more like stronger than like um the scrubs you know it exfoliates your skin removes dead skin um cells and all of those things so i saw a lot of great reviews about this product um on instagram i started following like all these skincare people i was like <laughs> i am not like this is not happening to me no not on my watch so then i just um exfoliate with this and as you can see guys like there's actually a lot of i think it's like um dead skin on the cotton um, on the cotton pads there's a lot of it and i'll tell you why my skin is peeling a bit because of the next step so after i do that i also just wait for it to dry um i don't just go to the next step very quickly and then this is also something that definitely saved my life this one yeah, let's focus yes la roche pose this is a anti-imperfection and marks daily peeling serum this is 
really good like all the reviews were like perfect it's strong like i feel like it's for like very serious acne or marks and all of that but it worked for me so what it does is that it removes imperfections and marks that are maybe left by acne so i was like if these um if this breakout is gonna like go away then there'll probably be marks left and i obviously want them to stop so and it also prevents future breakouts like breakouts hormonal breakouts and stuff like that i saw um some girl on instagram reviewing this she's like a skincare you know skincare person she's in south africa like i saw that post at the right time like that's when i was really looking for something to help me and then she wrote a review about it and i was like you know what let me try this like everything that was in her caption was literally what i was going through and then i was like let me buy it got it after a few days my skin was getting better i literally went back to her post and i was like sis you saved my life so yeah all of these things you can find on taobao or somewhere online wherever you are in the world you can find them so then i just use this serum like three drops like this it's very tingly and it used to be worse when i had like proper pimples on my face but i was just like i have to be strong so because this is like a light um it's like a very light peeling serum <sighs> sorry usually when i wake up my skin feels very dry and which is why even when i exfoliate this pad will have like things that, that look like dead skin because like it just strips away all the necessary unnecessary things and my skin looks clear guys i'm not a dermatologist i might not be using the right terms but you know what i hope you catch my drift like <laughs> i hope i'm making sense so yeah i apply the serum this is this is where it's at i like i just know this is what made my skin become like this i just know it i know so i use this every night only at night um but this I use in the morning and at night and this I only use at night so while I'm waiting for this to dry what I did during the day I literally just washed my face um, use this liquid exfoliator and then I used um, SPF moisturizer but I don't really like this one it leaves like a white um, what do they call it? it just leaves your face looking white I used to use this one I've went back this Neutrogena um, SPF but I had stopped because in the beginning I thought it's what was also causing the breakout like I guys I was like <sighs> I thought of everything everything I rearranged everything but within a short space of time like within a few days i was just trying to figure out what is happening so yeah i'm feeling hot and i want the serum to get dry so i don't just apply the next product immediately i want it to like get dry usually i'd like go stand there by the ac but because it's off i had to bring my little handheld ac <laughs> i'm looking at the screen again okay so once i'm done with that i use my retinol rapid wrinkle repair moisturizer from neutrogena i've also used this for probably the past three years i really like it it has retinol and retinol is good for cell renewal it helps your skin to get rid of marks and all of those things much quicker so that's why i like it retinol is a really good ingredient especially if you're like in your late 20s early 30s when you're getting older just start to use retinol night cream that has retinol 
and ideally day cream that has vitamin C. I should probably get that, but yeah, I will get that actually. I was just treating this problem. I still have a lot of problems. Like my skin is very uneven and I do still see some dark marks and I have like eye bags. But what I was really fighting were those breakouts and those ones seem to be under control. So I feel like I can start to treat other things. Don't forget your neck, guys. I clearly forgot my neck <laughs> with all the steps. And then this is very recent though. I When I bought this, when I recently bought this, I also got this free sample um, retinol advanced repair and eye cream actually I was supposed to put this on before I put that but it's okay so I'm just gonna put the eye cream on I really want to try and fight these dark under eyes I should probably get an eye cream for during the day as well there's this other one that I want actually, a vitamin C eye cream. I think it's from, I forgot that brand. But anyway, basically, this is what I did for about, I started to see a difference within five days. Within a week, yeah, within a week, like they stopped and then they were just going away. Within a month, my skin was back to normal. So I've been sticking to this and this is what I do every night. I always take off my makeup no matter what and I've definitely reduced the amount of times that I wear makeup but um, even when I do I just make sure that I fully cleanse my skin and yeah my, my battery is gonna die so basically that's it on some nights I will maybe two times a week I'll use a detoxing mud mask I'll put a picture here and then I'll steam and then um, oh one more thing because my skin like would get super dry sometimes during the day I do apply this um, repairing balm before I put on the sunscreen and then I also use this um, hydrating mask mask sheet I'll, I'll sometimes use it in the morning before I go to work and then yeah that's basically how i cleared my skin and i hope you've learned a thing or two i'm gonna end it there my lips are so dry <laughs> yeah basically that's it um see you guys in my next video don't forget to like comment and subscribe let me know if you have any tips for me if there's something you feel like i say that is just a big no-no we can all learn from each other and i can change but so far what i've been using is working but if you feel like sis stop right there let me know like i said i'm not an expert i'm just i'm just like you i'm just figuring it out okay see you in my next video bye